This is a very special Halloween edition of our positioning Sitecore. Today we're going to talk about Content Hub One. Content Hub One is a new product from Sitecore that's really focused on content management. So the way they're positioning is lightweight, still lightning fast, way to create, manage and deliver content for any touch point with an agile omnichannel CMS. So let's break that down and understand it further. So first, what market is it targeting? In my opinion, it's targeting the content as a service market, which is a market that's ever expanding. And there is a minor distinction between headless CMSs and content as a service in terms of how people are perceiving it today. Content as a service is really focusing around content and managing the content. And a lot of the content as a service platforms, such as Contentful, for instance, are really focused on how do we make content very easy to create and very easy to manage across different channels. Whereas a lot of the headless CMSs are still focusing on the web experience as the main channel. So you might have things like a page builder, you might have things that help you in the web experience, very focused on the web rather than any channel. So, and this is a clear differentiator between Content Hub One and XM Cloud. XM Cloud is more suited for the web experience. However, it can be used for anything, of course, because it is at the end of the day pushing out on the edge JSON. But Content Hub bodes well or bodes better for a completely headless content as a service scenario. And we're going to understand why in a little bit, especially with its name Content Hub. So when do we go for a content as a service platform? when content owners want to get their content to as many platforms and channels as possible. So it's really not directly for web only. It can be because you manage content on social, on your mobile, on your web, of course, experience on email, on all these different channels, and you want one single place to manage that content. And usually maintaining separate solutions for each channel is hard and no single unified view of what content you're curating especially that content is interrelated. You're usually creating campaigns that may have promos, that may have paid ads, that may have social media posts. And you want to be able to see that holistic view of your campaign and its content across the board. And this is where a content as a service platform works really, really well. And thirdly, it's much easier to have this single editorial calendar synced with your content. So when you create this campaign or this plan and your strategy, you're able to see it all in one go. And you're able to start strategizing on which pieces of the content will be pushed to social, which pieces will be pushed to web, which pieces will be pushed to a newsletter, for instance, which, people, which pieces will be to your internet or employee experience, to your partner experience. So you're able to really manage all that from one single place. So Content Hub 1 is based on Content Hub. It, this, the whole idea or the way they envision it is that you can start with Content Hub 1 and start growing by adding Content Hub operations and Content Hub DAM as well. So the ability of having that starting point where you're focused on content and then as you grow and you want to expand to create your content strategy, you want to uh, create more of um, digital assets as part of your content, all that can be easily done by upgrading your Content Hub 1 into Content Hub Operations and, of course, Content Hub Digital Asset Management. And this is where it becomes really, really interesting because it becomes this holistic, full-featured platform that enables you to create content and manage content and manage your content strategy and your editorial calendar all from one single solution. That also integrates with the XM Cloud, so you then are able to use Content Hub Operations or Content Hub a platform as your single source of omni-channel headless content or your content as a service platform and then for web experience if you have that need for personalization if you have that need for mm, uh, for WYSIWYG experience and page builder and all these other cool stuff that XM Cloud provides that's where you can sync back that content into uh, XM Cloud. Now whether XM Cloud will have pages supported, sorry, whether Content Hub 1 will have pages, which is the new version of Horizon, um, supported in it or not, I'm not sure yet. It may be part of the license, it may not. This is something that's not clear, and the pricing model is something that I don't know as of now. It is a content as a service platform, as we said, it's meant for omni-channel content management, but the great thing, or the value proposition, I think, for it, and the great positioning for it is, 
it really can be a great starting point that can be expanded level one to content hub operations and then you can manage your content strategy and your editorial calendar and then level two you can even expand it to xm cloud to have that web experience as well so you can start off small and then grow as you need to and this is a really interesting uh, model i think and i think it's going to be a great positioning to sell Content Hub 1 versus something like Contentful where you would need to maybe integrate with Builder.io for page building or you may need to go for other third-party solutions as well to create that full experience. Whereas Sitecore's uh, better together experience where these can all integrate with each other and you can compose your full solution through them is a really interesting scenario. So I'm really excited about Content Hub 1. Thanks everyone for watching.